Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. This is the exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to the second tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click and launch the game from here. If that does not work, again go to properties and this time put a check over here and select Windows 8. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. Again, select properties, this time type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you if you're using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings Go to, go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder so find the game in the list so open this blade folder and then select this exe file and then click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app and then click on browse go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add over here in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game file go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website and then perform a clean installation so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's ge force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete, run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder 
select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added over here now click on options over here select high performance now click on save and then launch the game and then check now still not working now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download x86 file and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and then download x64 file as well download it and then run this exe file as well Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, click on restart. The restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. So open Windows settings and then go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using so if you have these devices connected like hotas pedals racing wheel so disconnect all the external usb adapter dongle disconnect all the external devices which you are not using also if you have extra controller connected disconnect it disable steam overlay now for this game go to the game make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game 
Also, you can turn off overlay in Discord, turn off overlay in GeForce Experience. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI after burner running, running or river tuner running, then close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here then click on disable all. In my case this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to, now if nothing is working, you can uninstall and reinstall the game. Now, for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select manage and then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.